Now that we have our data in the proper stacked format for analysis, let's go through our basic quality check of the data set. Again, this is always a good idea with any new data set you get. So we'll use Analyze, Distribution, and I'll take all of our columns and click them into Y and click OK. Starting with the rating, notice that we don't have any extreme observations or ones that would make us be concerned about the quality of these data. The distribution isn't normal, really, or symmetric, but in general, things look OK here. Now, as far as our Y measurements, we have equal numbers of observations for each of the wines, and we have equal numbers of observations for each of the judges. This we should expect. Each judge was rating four wines, and so for each judge, we should have four ratings. And since we had each judge rating all the wines, we'll have equal ratings on each wine. This won't always be the case for repeated measures designs. There are times where some subjects won't fill out the entire form, won't give correct data, or for some reason you'll have incomplete observations. The nice thing about the type of analysis we'll do is that it actually doesn't really care if we have missing observations. That's something unique about this type of repeated measures analysis and one that's very useful. Now I will say just quickly that if you have missing observations for judges, or in your case for any kind of subject, you'll want to make sure that your data is missing at random, not that some subjects aren't returning values for certain wines or certain conditions because of something about those conditions. So our criterion of missing at random is really that whatever observations are missing are missing not because of something to do with your study or experiment, but just because there was measurement error or some kind of failure. Now before we leave the distribution platform, I want to mention something about what we're doing with judge, specifically how we're modeling judge in this data set. You'll notice that the judge output we get is for a nominal column, and in fact, that's what we have. We've marked judge here as nominal, and this is something you should always do. Judge is not continuous even though I have numeric values identifying each judge. There's nothing relating to a scale here for judge. The 1, 2, 3 is all the way up to 15 simply represent the different judges. And so our model will be very specific and require this. That is, judges or subjects, whatever number identifies them, always has to be marked as nominal. So whenever you start entering in values for judges, that is for identifying which judge is which, if you use numbers, right away mark that column as nominal.